Welcome back to the next video. In this video, we are going to learn how to detect faces. And uh, this time, let us start coding in the script. Um, so firstly, we are going to read the image I am read of face dot jpeg. And let me show you the image first. So, um, oops, let me save it as video. Okay, so this is my photo. Um, okay uh, in this photo let us try to detect the face uh, well I think the image size is too big let me just scale it down a equal to I am resize of a comma I generally like working with smaller images so I'll just uh, make it smaller okay this looks good uh, uh, the next thing I'll be doing is detector I hope I spelled that right. Det oh, sorry. So it's going to be detector equal to vision. This is a function from the computer vision toolbox. Cascade object detector. I hope I spelled it right again. Uh, and that's it. Okay. And next thing that you're going to do is the bounding box of the detections would be equal to step of your uh, so this is the thing that can detect your face it will be step of your detector comma your input image and you will get the value of the bounding boxes here so uh, now we found the bounding box we want to put it back on the image right so we would just say out equal to insert object uh, annotation of uh, a comma rectangle comma bounding box comma let's just say detection okay uh, uh, I spelled it wrong again okay and I would show you out so let's look at this uh, as you can see uh, my face has been detected pretty well here uh, so um, let me just uh, go through the code again you take the image resize it 2.3 times and then use the cascade object detector apply this detector on the image and then you get the bounding box and uh, on the image you add this bounding box uh, uh, annotation and store it in out and you show out and so that's the result but the problem here is that you see another wrong detection here right there's a false detection here how do you get rid of it um, so uh, let us look into this just say doc space cascade object detector so this pops up the help for uh, cascade object detector and let us uh, look at all the features here you have various classification models that means that you can detect frontal face upper body eye pairs single eye mouth nose wow uh, that really looks cool and then um, you can adjust the minimum size maximum size scale factor and merge threshold and this is what we'll need the default value is 4 now um, let us change the value of merge threshold of this detector detector that merge threshold to something higher Le instead of four let's say seven so let's see if we can get rid of that box and we did because we took a higher uh, higher threshold value and this is not there anymore now if you take a lower threshold value you would find a lot of other detections which are not necessary so you need to uh, select the threshold value depending on your application by default it's 4 but for this specific case um, 7 was better because that gives the correct result uh, now uh, let's try to detect uh, something else so let us go back and type go here so what else can we detect let's try to detect them out and uh, it's okay you have to use this string in the classification model okay so let's just use that 
and try to detect the mouth I'll just comment this control R okay oh my god there's so many detections so for for the threshold value of 4 there's so many detections we need to take them off let us take the value of 10 maybe because there's a lot of them oh there's still so many I guess we'll have to go for a bigger value let's say 50 uh, okay this doesn't look good enough let's go for 100 well yeah so at the value of 100 you were able to get the correct uh, mouth and uh, yeah that that's uh, that's how you detect various things um, let's see if we can detect something else uh, let us say I pair and let us try to detect I pair big um, okay let's just have it here I'll just comment this out control R and wow it, it works well and let's try I pair small and yeah it's it works pretty well again so yeah that's the thing um, sometimes when this is displayed you can't see it properly because uh, it is the box size is just one pixel wide and your image is bigger than that so it's scaled down and while it is scaled down you lose this so you just have to zoom in to look at it okay and yeah so that is pretty much uh, all you need to know about face detection in MATLAB so this comes from the computer vision toolbox I I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned a lot thank you